Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of where I have these strokes that are transparent and I don't want to be able to see the house as this car drives in front of it, but I do want to be able to see it through the windows. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Mikey's Production Tips is brought to you by Cinema Spice. After Effects tools, video overlays and backgrounds, and sound effects. So I know this is a very kind of a specific uh, <laughs> problem that you might be encountering, um, but it, it's one that, you know, might be a little bit hard to do, especially if you're thinking about duplicating layers and doing uh, transfer modes and things like that. There's an easier way of doing it, and I want to show you how to do that. First off, we need to make sure that these layers are prepared the right way. And so we have just this pre-comp for the background layer, and there's really nothing special you have to do for that, but it does make it easier if all of the elements are in one composition. Now, this foreground layer that's going to be driving in front of the house, we have to set that up a special way. Let me get the fit. And how that is is we need to fill it with a fill. Right now there's no fill, and you can uh, just see the, the stroke. So let's go into the contents, and we got tire, front tire, the car, and the two windows. Um, and I'm going to have to do some merging on paths and things like that to make it so it works properly. But first, let's take the two tires, and let's just uh, fill it. doesn't matter what color. And then what we need to do is we need to, in this contents, uh, I'm going to create a new group. We'll call this car body. And in there, let's take the two windows in the car, stick that in the group just to keep it a little bit organized. And then in that car body group, let's add the merge paths. And then change it from the default of add to subtract. Now when we come down here to the fill, it's already that same color, but just to be sure, I'm going to make sure it's that same color of red. And let's turn on the fill. You can see now it's going to just fill in that and it's going to subtract away the two windows. So if we look at the layer order, you have in the car body the car on top and then the two windows underneath it and the merged path set to subtract. It's important that you have it in the right order. If we don't have it in the right order, it's going to mess up. So the thing on top is going to be what you want to be solid and then the underneath it is going to what you want to be subtracted away. And that's how that works for the merged paths. Okay. Now that we have it set up like this, what I'm going to do is add to this a keying of just key light. So let's open up key light, add it to, remember this is to the car, the top layer, and we're now going to take away that red. Now, here's the trick. Let's go to the pre-comp, the background layer, and to this effect we're going to add set matte. And what set matte does is it'll take the matte layer, the transparency, from another layer and apply it to the layer you have this effect on. And so we're going to take it from the car layer. And then let's invert that because it's it's going backwards. Because we want where there is no transparency, where the car is, where the red, you know, to be the transparency on the other one. Now, here's the thing. Uh, it says take matte from layer and you can choose source, masks, or effects and masks. If I turn this on effects and masks, and I move this car down, well then what is happening is it's taking the transparency with the effect of key light applied to it. Now if we were to take that off and turn it just to source, well then it's going to ignore key light, and remember what this looked like without key light? It'll look like that. And so it's taking the transparency from this layer as if it looked like that without key light, but we can still apply key light and then make it transparent. And you can see how cool that looks. So then we can just come here and make a quick keyframe of the position. Let's go forward three seconds and have it drive across. And let's take a look at that. Pretty cool. So that is how you solve that problem. Uh, just a quick recap. Remember, on the car layer, you need to have this all filled in. So if you're creating your uh, contents in Illustrator or something like that, make sure it comes uh, filled in like this instead of with uh, you know, transparent. And then we add to that the key light. And then on the bottom layer, we're using set matte. 
and then we're inverting the mat. And then make sure it's just set to source without any effects or masks. And you can create this cool look. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've been putting out lots of these tutorials and you can see a whole back catalog of lots of hundreds of tutorials I've done in the past. And uh, if you've got any suggestions or uh, requests for tutorials in the future, feel free to put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.